everybody. Um, I was going to pull together some pieces to um, start one of my collage pieces where I kind of glue everything together and um, dis destroy it, distress it, tea dye it. Um, but I was kind of wanted to show you my process and how I go about collecting um, for my pieces and how I get inspired. Um, I keep a lot of my stuff kind of in these bins and I'll go through and usually I, it's usually a color that I kind of am playing with and this is kind of what I started. I kind of started before um, this morning and then I just kind of want to pull out a few more pieces and keep adding to this pile and then this is going to become a bundle that will dye um, and glue together and it'll be kind of a collage piece um, and it adds a lot of depth and um, neat pieces to your stash when you do this so you have really a lot of um, amazing pieces to work with so I'm just going to kind of go through things that I have on hand that I've already kind of worked on. Like this is a piece of tea dyed rice paper, um, some old papers. These are photocopies that I have dyed and distressed and used ink with. So as you can see, I kind of have a theme going. And these like sage greens and blues and pinks and some lavender. So a lot of pastels. And I just keep going with that and find things that speak to me. I try not to think about it too much and I try to just work through um, the, the process quickly and not with a lot of thought. Something jumps out of me and I just grab it and I throw it in the pile. I'm trying to keep my pieces on the smaller side because I tend to get carried away a little bit. That's always a good rule of thumb is just kind of um, keep them four, around four inches or smaller. Like I have these bigger pieces, but I'll probably pull some things apart. Um, these were papers I dyed with botanicals, so it'll be interesting to see how they process with tea and coffee, um, if, the, if, if it will hold. Again, this was a, I think I used cherries and it turned, I wanna say baking soda, and it turned this really cool blue color. So I wanna incorporate some of that. But it might not stay printed because of the nature of the, the uh, media that I used, which was a natural dye. So it'll be kind of fun to play with that and see what happens. You gotta be really open to happy accidents and yeah, so that's kind of my process. I also keep on hand you know, like different pieces of fabric. things that have gone through several stages of this process. And you just start getting this amazing, wonderful story and depth and history in these pieces. And I think this began life as a, it was a doll, I think, and a cloth doll. And it's been, dyed and rusted. So really think outside of the box when you gather your your things. Um, when you're thrifting or when you're throwing away things from your closet, they can really be repurposed and 
if there's pieces that can be taken off or buttons or anything that's in, of interest or that's, you know, grabs your eye. these pieces have already been through the tea dyeing process. You can see some of the tea bags in there. Um, but I still keep going with them if they're not like speaking to me emotionally. I'll just throw them back in the bucket and just keep keep mark making on them. And keep putting them through. process, the destruction and the decay process. Okay, so that's kind of going to be my grouping. Um, I'm going to come back and we're going to glue these together um, with some matte medium and stitches and then add some coffee. 